Hello Goranges are on view yet again, this time for our sale on the 10th of July and uh, I'm very smartly dressed because we're all going out boating this evening. It's not quite Henley Regatta, it's sort of up the river Rivers at Lewis and uh, yeah, stuff outing. So casual gear, excuse that. Um, so here we are in the sale room. Uh, interesting things, not the hugest of sales, but interesting things nevertheless, such as this blue tit in a birdcage. Look at that, lot 145. The cage itself looks to have some age, to be a slight secessionist feel to it, continental therefore, brass, um, but probably with possibly later glass and certainly a later blue tit inside it. <laughs> what else have we got for you? Well, how about a nice big Chesterfield settee, lot 139. That's got some age on it, hasn't got it? It's got a bit of age, got some nice character. Look at where it's rubbed through the yeah. colour down to this tan and everything. Yeah, it's got the right amount of shabby chicness that appeals. Yes. Uh, this caught my eye when I walked through from the other gallery, lot 160. Nice big chunky trunk and look at the inscription on the front. Brown Brothers, Brown Brothers. Southampton shipwrights nice with its key not shut at the moment character face nice. yeah. great fun 138 blooming great long table gosh here. it is a narrow i think this narrow. came from spencer swaffers oh did it um, yeah so uh in, in arundel uh always interesting things come from there not sure what yes. it was sold as uh forget what david's described it out there's not a wake table but something along those lines like sorry a what table a wake table it's not a wake table that's ah. for art for a funeral but right no but it's got a similar sort of nature of having a certain purpose okay otherwise amazing how you didn't comment on that a leopard leopard a run over leopard well yeah yes. just for their own yes they have to be of a certain age and they have to be mounted in a particular way and then you can sell them okay uh, from a greek family in london uh, clearing out storage, uh, some curious and interesting um, paintings such as this work by Jack Hughes, who you won't find much about. You'll find his paintings right. uh, online, but you won't find much about him. You'll find the other, another Jack Hughes, who's not the same person. Um, called um, Drummer Boy or similar and, and dated Provence 1962. Right. A lot of these paintings all of that sort of 60s early 70s nice period. Frame. Yeah nice frame. Mm. Here too by Paul Herbert. Now these are different aren't these they? These are different. I think this one is called Fragments. I forget the name of the other one. It might be the other way around. Anyway 747748. Mm. This table catches mine. Oh. 159. As soon as you me. see that model. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you see that model you keep it away from Samantha. Yes. And you look underneath those. and say is there a Liberty badge? And there's not, but it's very much in the manner of Liberty. Right. Um, and it's a nice sort of arts and craftsy table. Yep. So there we go. We're off to a good start, aren't we? Yes. It's a smart chair there. Yeah, yes. I rather like the. Oh, it's very tired. It's, it's very tired. Very tired. Yeah. Yes. I'm going uh, we've got French fireman here. I was doing a bit of research earlier this afternoon. Yes. Um, checking this chap out because he's painted on English canvas. And it's around about 1900 because it says on the back, oh. England. <laughs> woof, woof. Years of experience, God, I was my dear. Guys Years good. of experience. He's right. good. He does look at the yeah, back. Whatever. Not everyone does, yeah, okay. to be fair. Right. Uh, so, yes, he's got this sort of Merryweather pattern helmet on. Yep. This badge, though, says Premier something or other, suggesting it's not English. Okay. Um, but. I don't know, maybe he's maybe there was, maybe he just he? got an unusual set of medals. But he's rather well, smart fireman there. Someone might know. Someone always knows. Yes. That's lot number. Tickets dropped off. Round about 7.45, I would okay. suggest. So carrying down, pretty little table here. Yes. Country table with a top that you can adjust to how you want oh. it at the moment. Lot <laughs> yes. 150. It's a real offer. It's nice and polished, nice colour. Yes. Not too big. No. Maybe too narrow, but not too big. It is nice. Um, so I'll oak furniture scattered around. More pictures from this... Uh, that's another Jack Hughes called Two Children, funnily enough. Yeah. Um, and this one is a different artist. Uh, lot 729, rather stylish that sort of, I'm thinking sort of in terms of Eve um, Gan, G-A-N-N-E or okay. Gan-E. Um, look them up, they make a bit more money. That should be three to 500, perhaps a little more. It's rather right. stylish. So let's go round. Uh, drifting I like past. that. What do you like? That you're the arts and crafts um, little seat. Yes, yes like a little that's really nice. It's a commode. Oh, it's a arts and crafts potty well, I chair. I get it for you when you're old and needy. Yeah. What do you think? Thanks. Um, there we go. It's a oh, it's nice uh, arts and crafts it. Like commode yep. chair. Oh, that's quite nice as well. I like the. There's a pair of those. One sixty-three. Yeah. Yep. They're sort of getting there, aren't they? They are so getting there. There we are. Right. Let's go and look at the smalls. Okay. So in the smalls again, not quite as many as usual, but still a, a respectable smattering, I would suggest, for mid-July. It's never the easiest time to get a sale together. 
Uh, and uh, well, what have we got? How about a run of these? These are um, Beauvais, um, Arnold um, Beauvais watercolors. Got that sort of look of, of the, the you know French French Frenchman on the beach. Here, uh, three lots, six eighty to six eighty three. Oh, this one's nice. Uh, yes. Café sur la terrasse. Yeah. Uh, here we are. Walter John Beauvais is the artist. Arnold was his was his uh, was a, a son from memory. Uh, so some exhibition catalogues come with 682, rather nice, all around about three to four hundred pounds. Those are nice, I like those. Uh, I'm seeing lots of cranberry glass, which back in the day would have made a fortune, um, but today is in large lots because it doesn't. Um, some silhouettes down, or miniatures actually, lots 685. This is rather fun, look at this fellow, he looks fairly pleased with himself, doesn't he? It does. And he, he's um, Mr. Greenfield, self-portrait it says. And then this one is... Mrs. Greenfield. But it's Mrs. Greenfield, his mother. Mm, there we go, money. Mm -hmm. So uh, yes, and then with that you also get uh, this chap. No. Which, no, this is by uh, R and W Kerry did that together apparently. Oh, and then you get another little sort of spurious one, six eight five. So there we go. Cool. Uh, I'm seeing a sword, uh, which is always fun to see. Over on this side, big back scratcher there. More silhouettes, six fifty nine. Oh, that's horrible. Isn't it? You get um, four full length silhouettes there. Yeah. Uh, from the same source as uh, the other Greek pictures, look, 651. Wow. If you fancy a sphinx looking a bit like the Queen. He's fun. From he a different fun. vendor, but actually he looks like he's Greek. Uh, bear, ba based on this inscription that you can't quite read. Yeah. Um, and he's got that look as well, hasn't he? He has. Tilt so he's rather fun. Forward. That's How's it. that? Yeah, that's perfect. Lot 653. Got a bit of age, I would suggest. Right. So there we go. He's quite interesting. Um, carrying along. Oh, these are hilarious, aren't they? Yes, I don't quite know why this is sat on top of it, 476. Let's put that back somewhere. How about over there? So, so, the um, so who is... So these are Aubrey Beardsley, the, right. the original uh, illustrations of Lysistrata. Um, these are reprints and they're, they're um, some people call them erotic. Uh, they could just be rude. Depends how you like to view it. Anyway, they're reoffers, that's 654. <laughs> 30 to 50 quid will obtain the entire lot Oh for my you. gosh. You give them away at Christmas. Is, is this something that... Well, they catch your eye, don't they? They that's certainly for sure. do. I'm not so sure. So these are Rosenthal, um, essentially collector's plates, I suppose. Um, and a big, uh, quite a run of them. There's 11 items in the lot. Right. So you've got these Rosenthal wall plates. Are you then familiar with those? Uh, yes, to some extent. Yeah. You, you've got Royal Copenhagen. Oh, you know, they're all sort of collector's plates that you, you might end up subscribing to and adding, them, adding more and more to the... Uh, the lot uh, alongside here 459 this is more copenhagen but copenhagen from the sort of 60s 70s Interesting quite, quite stylish yeah. yeah nice nice mixed lot there of four items lot 459 if you didn't get booze last time there's a proper clear out of the drinks cabinet yes, lot 460 yeah um some of it at one's peril but most of it looks actually to be reasonably usable though i don't think the mulled wine's going to be the best but no. what do I know? give it a try find out um, so, yes, there's that's the, the run this way. Sorry, banging away at cupboard yeah. doors. What's this? Well, so what which thing are you asking about? The, 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 this thing. Well, What's it's got 402, isn't it? Yes, it's got 402. 402. It's, um, Gosh, how bizarre. It's, uh, it looks like a giant thigh bone that's then been carved with um, sort of Ethiopian type or, no, actually, Yoruba type figures. Wow. So I'm guessing that's meant to be an elephant bone. Uh, but it might well be a resin casting. I haven't looked close enough to see. Right. Um, but the, the truth will out, because no doubt our chats will have looked it up and decided yes. what it is. Yeah. Good. Cases of port showing underneath the table. He's fun. Is he in? No, he's not in yet. Oh, don't, okay. Don't focus on him. It's the old danger of looking at things early on. So, round the corner, what have we got? Well, we're again more sort of varied. A bit of treen here. Some... Uh, Pat so pat wall pockets. This is where they layer the porcelain um, in a sort of cameo effect. It's the opposite of doing a cameo. In a cameo, you carve away yes. till it shows translucent. Yeah. With, with pat so pat, you sort of build it up. Ah. Um, quite complicated. This is looks to me like a. Well, it says it's George Jones and Son one, so Victorian pottery example. They were very much emulating Minton, who sort of and Sev, who were the, the best of it. Mm. Uh, there we are, a bit of Those three are quite fun. Yeah, these are fun. They've got a Paris sort of street art. That's yes. signed Benson, I think. There's one by Davis. That's the Moulin Rouge, isn't it? 
Um, three in the lot, modest money, estimate 60 to 80, bit of fun. Great. Hang on in the loo or whatever. Yes. Big green glass dump there, look at that. <laughs> ah, that's great. 344. Fun. Yes. That's a big lump there, nice hunting mug there, hand painted, beautifully enameled with the kill, that most commercial of subjects. Yes. Uh, no mark underneath it, but Victorian porcelain, uh, lot 343. That's a it's quite big, isn't it? It is not it made to be decorative, isn't yes. it? Now we've got some temperature wear. 341, I yes. think that's a tea caddy. Yeah. Erich Castle, I suspect, shown on the lid. Not a bad clock here, 322, signed Warden of Woolwich. Got the uh, military issue arrow on it, which we always sort of can be a little suspicious about. It, sort of, it looks like it's all been painted at the same time, so hopefully that's right. 703, here's a dinky little work by Welsh artist Roger Cecil. It's oil pastel on card. He's called it abstract miniature. A nice label on the back from Academy Gallery. And I looked him up. He makes, you know, he can, a big work will make a thousand pounds. But I think okay. that's in a, you know, a few hundred. Lot 703. So, carrying on round. Gosh, that's uh, quite something, isn't it? That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah so, a huge wolf pelt rug by the looks of it. Um, Golly. Be interested to see how that gets. Yes. Right. Uh, anyway, fancy, do you need a hand? Lot 273, <laughs> there we are, nice sort of artist maquette model in plaster uh, on a stand. A good just hand. A kind of, yeah, just a sort Long of interesting fingers. thing. Quite or um, I want to bank Bommy Knocker here. This says Bermondsey Special Constable. Um, Which is enormous. Yeah, Bermondsey Special Constable, number 79. I mean, it certainly was special, wasn't it, if you walked around with this. Victorian, I think oh. it says. No, it doesn't. It says George III, even better. So there's a pretty... Wow. Yeah. Pretty, uh, These are quite pretty. Example. I know they're rustic, but they're quite pretty. Oh, yes, they are, aren't they? Yeah. yeah no, they're, these can often go rather well. I think there's a mm, few lots like of these. Um, is this pewter? Yes, this is pewter. And um, we were talking about this the other day. Well, this is lot yes. 301. Yeah. And pewter generally doesn't make a great deal, but there's a sort of mixture here. And what's interesting here is some of it's been polished. Yes. And when you polish pewter, you get it up to almost this sort of silver like realize. sheen. And um, some people like their pewter old and um, patinated. Yes. And others like to sort of buff it up because that's the opinion of what it was like Actually, on, in I the day. Like buffed. Because in the day, you know, they want it to look nice and shiny and yes. clean. And um, hence, you, you, you know, the touch marks and things get rubbed away from polishing because they did polish it. Really nice. Um, yeah, rather fun that. N nice little lot. Good mixture there. Um, doesn't make huge money these days unless it's no. particularly big or particularly early or something. No, ultra special. I'm not about necessarily it. sure about the picture, but I do quite like the frame. Yeah, ornate, isn't it? Yes. Showy thing. Yes. yes, precisely. There's a big showy thing, lot 306. Whopping great. So that reminds there. me of a pharmacy. It is almost, isn't it? Yes. Uh, it looks a bit sort of Val Saint Lambert ish or similar, but. Um, very maybe striking. Sign, if we did, so yes. we oh, more it. of this nice yeah, stuff. More pottery. I do this like this. to have a sort of Swiss influence. Yeah. It's lot 308. Mm, really it's nice. not all. That one is more that sort of. Slipwear, Sussexy colours, okay. but um, but are mostly looking continental, maybe Swiss. I don't know. Um, so there we are. Interesting mixture of smalls. That's probably next week. We won't do that. Over the back here. Roger's been busy again. He's always hammering out the silver, isn't he? Yep. Constantly, aren't you, Rog? Uh, always. always, he says. Lot eight oh four. There we are. Key to the kingdom. Some um, silver keys. There we go. Look at that with a. Armorial engraved to the top, no doubt presented to some big cheese, but it hasn't been inscribed, or if it has, they've taken it out. Um, a sort of showy, Gosh, continental look looking. What is that? Although it's English, it's it's a little bit earlier than sort of 18, 1895 or thereabouts. Well, I think it's based on a sort of Nordic, almost Russian model, um, but um, I don't think it's particularly for anything. I think it's more like of a centerpiece. The detail. Well, yeah. So you get lots of these. These these little the usually late Victorian Edwardian silver I think dishes. The details really pretty. Where they bash them out, they they stamp the silver into okay. a mould to get all this, uh, and then you you know you can have various versions. Right. So you get three in the lot here. Right. They're usually a little bit lightweight. These but aren't too bad. Silver. They are pure silver oh. and they're hallmark. That's what eight oh nine. And the candlesticks I like as well. Candlesticks. Well, they look curious, don't Those they? Are Those are lot eight hundred. So are they a bit artsy-craftsy? No, not? they're not at all artsy-craftsy. They? they are sort of based on a George III model, I would say, looking at this base. Right. But I can't see any hallmarks upon them. Rog will have said whatever he will have said about them. There's a mark on the side there of the sconce. Uh-huh. 
suggesting that they, they, they should be early-ish. Roger, what's going on with these? So basically we can't get the base off, but they're, they're Georgian, definitely. I think the marks are probably underneath. And do we Scots think these are later and they've been cut down? They've been cut down, haven't they? Yeah, yeah nice. that's it. Butchers. They should be about the height of the lamp overall. Oh, so it's and a shame, so the whole isn't it? chunk's gone missing. Yeah. So it's yes, they're a bit of a look at that one and think about the proportionality ah, of it. Okay. And that's that's where nice. we should be. Um so yeah, a couple of nice taper sticks there in that lot, lot eight oh two. Yeah, sweet. Um let me wriggle backwards. So there's fish slices, there's soup ladles, there's things in cases, there's um, heart-shaped caskets, there's a, oh. an unusual pair of sprung serving tongs. Yes. Um, which are... I'm not focusing. That yes, way. they are hallmarks. I'm sorry, I'm just looking inside. Me. Um, and they're lot 839. Right. Lovely cases. Are they um, just probably empty cases, or have they? They would something? never. Be, we'd never well, sell empty cases. Yes, you do. You sell, well, sell smart ones uh, for jewellery mostly, yes. not for silver. No, oh, there we go. Look, look there's a pair that. of um, Victorian silver fish servers. Aren't they pretty? Engraved with an angler in a river landscape, oh, or great. standing in the middle of the M25. I'm not sure. Yeah, oh. this is a river landscape. So great Very fun. Um, and yes, it, so if you want to explore a lot like lot. 842. Yes. We open the cases. There's a oh. set of um, apostle spoons because the terminals are apostles and they're silver and they're probably Victorian. Then with them, you get a cased serving set. Right. Um, right, you're losing interest no, fast. No, I'm not. I, no? Just, I just think that they're just so incredibly Well, they're pretty. lovely, aren't they? I mean, but, um, what's but, that? Butter, but tongs sort of, and sugar. If you brought it home, it'd be like, well, what are we going to do with it? That's why they that's stay. The, yes. That's christening. Oh, that's pretty, yeah. Probably not the right box. Look, not quite right. No. And then fine, this is probably christening again. Yes, it is. There's another christening. Oh, that's one. nice. I like that. So they stay in good condition because no one of them no, uses them because the uh, you know they're given as christening presents yes. and wedding presents. Even back in the 19th century, I'm yeah. sure the same thing happened. And people is this, thought they've given me these. Is the fishing stuff? In? No, no, don't, not don't yet. Look at no, that. No, no, no that's look, not don't here. Look. That's that's invisible. So we've got um, um, a bit of uh, Asian-y stuff going yes, on. Yes, always uh, some hard stone carvings. We've got some nice little rummagey lots of mixed snuff boxes and things underneath. Yep. Um, we've got a little Jack's chess set. We've got some nice lot of metalware here with a cribbage board and a, and a, a case here for Margaret Fern. Mm. Um, and uh, the shoe thing and what have you. That's not a big money lot, but it is a, a rummage lot. Um, further back here... This is quite fun. Lot 429. So these sporting caps. 1898. Um, what does that say? R-U-T-F or something like that. 1898, 1903, 1904. In with Railways and Harbours souvenir. Um, like silk napkin, panel, napkin um, thing. So yeah. yeah, curious lot that. Little interesting lot there. Uh, across the back, more mixed pieces. Good rummagey. Yeah, nice. Gosh, you see a Cartier box, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. And yes, I, I don't instantly think it has see, a Cartier ring I told inside you it. Was empty boxes. Well, that, well, in that situation, yeah. we do have empty boxes. Yeah, absolutely. Do you, did you want a toad riding a terrapin? Oh, always. 417? Yes, always. Impress your neighbours with that. Um, so there we go. A whole host of interesting things. Quick, Rog, run uh, away. Yeah, we'll lock up, Rog. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, jewellery. Do you want to look at jewellery quickly? Oh, yes, please. I want to get on the river, you know. Um, yes. So in the jewellery, again, numbers aren't quite so high this time. Oh, I like that bracelet, 886. That one, 886. It's, it's relatively lightweight oh. and it looks to be Chinese or similar okay. with those dragon's heads. 886. You've got a bug brooch. You've got yes. some Omega watches. What's in the case? Can't always... really see it with the glass, unfortunately. How about that? Okay. There's a fairly smart brooch there. 885, yeah. Bella Poc, Diamond and Pearl. Um, Yes, so a little selection of some seed pearl jewellery here. Gosh. If I dare get this out, they're usually so complex. Oh, look at that. That's rather fun. So I think this is what they call a saltoir necklace. So that, that very stylish sort of 20s, 30s, drape it round your flapper That's dress. Cute, yeah. Lot 911. Mm. Seed pearl and amethysts. Very like nice. that. That looks, look, with those lovely little um, tasseled dangerous. ends. Yes. So yeah, there we go. Good fun. Um, Come on, let's go so boating. there we go. Let's go boating. There's lots of, uh, still plenty of things for you to get your teeth into in the cell. Have a good look. Come and see us as ever. Thank you for watching.